yes we all knew this day would come and it has arrived welcome to day 31 of 31 days of learning English in October 2019 hello everyone don't worry this isn't my Halloween mask <laughs> this is how I normally look so I hope I didn't scare you too much hi everybody this is mr. Duncan in England how are you today are you okay I hope so are you happy I hope so well we've done it we have made it all away to the end of October I have been with you every day during this month to celebrate a big thing yes because today is my anniversary today is the day when it all started happy birthday to my youtube channel yes it is today my 13th anniversary can you believe it 13 years on YouTube I've been doing this making videos teaching English and of course in the last few years I have been making my live streams and that's the reason why I decided to do something special for October to celebrate my 13th anniversary on YouTube and, and can I say can I say a big thank you to YouTube for sending me a lovely message and a gift for <laughs> who am I kidding of course I didn't get a gift or a message from YouTube I got nothing however I have you and that is the most important thing of all so welcome everyone here we go 13 years ago it all started <laughs> I can't believe it I can't believe it's been 13 years ago however however yes it it was on this day <laughs> 13 years ago that it all happened can you believe it I can't believe it was 13 years ago today I was still in China when it all happened hello world hello can you see me now hmm so here so, okay, it's okay, look. It's okay. Welcome to Mr. Duncan's first ever edited video. Isn't it exciting? Well, it's been another busy week, and of course, as usual, I've been in the school teaching English. That's my job. I think one of the most common questions I'm asked during my time here in China by my students is how can I improve my English? There's one thing I've noticed, my fingers have gone dead. Look, my fingers have gone a strange reddy, blue, purpley, pink color. Not very good. I think, I think if I stay outside much longer, I think they will fall off. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. Welcome to the very first episode of my series of English teaching videos. You know, the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join us for another lesson. Why do we need phonetics? 
The reason why we need a phonetic code is because some English letters have more than one sound, and because some letters, when joined together in a word, actually create a new sound of their own. Also, there is the silent letter that can appear within a word. Thirteen years on YouTube, thirteen years teaching English to the world for free. Yes. It is true. Today is the 13th anniversary of my YouTube channel being created. It was way back in 2006. I was still living and working in China and I decided to set up my YouTube channel. In fact, it wasn't me who had the idea. It was actually my friend Zhang Wei who actually told me that there was a new video site where you can actually not only watch videos but also make your own videos so in fact it was Jiang Wei my friend in China who actually told me all about YouTube so I created my own YouTube channel and the rest as they say is 13 years of this I suppose so welcome thank you very much got lots of things to show you today I suppose I should mention one or two things before we get underway. Halloween. It is Halloween today. And I have been asked by many people if I can show Mr. Steve <laughs> looking very scary. So here it is for all those who who want to see this very famous clip of Mr. Steve looking very scary because, of course, today is Halloween. Did it get colder in here or is it just me? <laughs> I think it's you, Mr. Steve, definitely. Maybe you've left the window open, perhaps. So I hope you enjoyed that. We will be going back in time today, showing quite a few video clips. Also, we will take a look at what we were doing two years ago today on Halloween with our live stream so you will see more of Mr Steve in his Halloween costume 
and also me as well dressed as Frankenstein a little bit later on however let's have a look at the live chat because yes even though it is the final day of English in October don't worry <clears throat> I am here with you now hello to Grace Chin congratulations to Grace hello Grace you are first on the last day of October and also the last day of learning English in October 2019 so congratulations Grace Wow. We actually made it all away. I started making my live streams, daily live streams on the 1st of October for this very special month, and I've done 31. In fact, this is the 31st day that I've been with you live. However, everything will come to an end today and things will return to normal however there will be some changes that are taking place that I will tell you about later on some changes maybe some changes that might disappoint you or maybe some changes that will make you feel quite happy find out later on hello to Kathy hello also to Alan Gear. thanks for joining me on my last live stream in October Hello, Louis Louis. Hello also to Connell. Thank you very much to Kathy Cat. Congratulations. Can I say hello to Loretta and also Alex? Thank you very much for your lovely donations that I received last night. Yes, I will be mentioning this a lot today. If you would like to make a donation, because don't forget, I do all of this for free. So you can make a donation live on the super chat underneath the chat box or of course you can send your donation to PayPal and I do appreciate your kindness don't forget everything I do here I do for free and that is the way I've been operating for the past 13 years you don't have to pay for my lessons everything is free so if you want to make a donation here it is again <laughs> I will be showing it quite a lot during today's live stream and there it is so if you want to make a donation you can and I will be very very grateful thank you very much so RS RHS is here in Argentina Halloween doesn't exist Nidia says hello Mr Duncan from Paris I, I hope you are okay I feel sad that today is the last day of your live streams but thank you for all the help you have given us thank you very much that's very kind of you I, I will not get upset I have said that I won't get upset even though it sounds as if my voice is already starting to crack under the pressure of this being my last day of 31 days of October and English however there will be more live lessons don't worry this is not the end of me <laughs> I'm sure there will be people out there who will feel very disappointed at that news so no I, I am not going away but there will be live streams they will continue but they won't be every day so that is the difference the weather is lovely today would you like to have a look outside look it's ever so nice outside it's very autumnal now we haven't got any sunshine unfortunately however it is rather nice outside you can see that everything is looking looking very autumnal today it really does look as if autumn is in the air so we are talking about Halloween I suppose something else that is just as scary as Halloween hmm now today in the UK this was supposed to happen however it is not happening anymore so today 
it isn't happening although it might happen next year but that's a long way off so we don't have to worry about that so this is something I've been waiting to do all month so now it is time to say goodbye to this for a while because today was the day when it was supposed to happen but as you may know it is not happening today so can I just say goodbye Ooh, that is so satisfying goodbye to this oh, that feels so good however <laughs> there is always bad news after good news however we do have a general election taking place in December so we have to choose a new government so even though we don't have to do that horrible thing we have another horrible thing that we have to do unfortunately so there will be one of these in December on the December the 12th there we there will be one of these oh dear <sighs> so we get rid of one thing we push one thing away and then we get something else which is just as annoying to be honest hello Sue Ellie hello also Eric thank you Eric hello also to Christelle thank you very much for your greeting thank you for all the work you've done during this month thank you very much it's been my pleasure someone asked earlier Mr Duncan what memories do you have of your 13 years now there are so many memories so many moments and some of them I suppose have left nice impressions whilst others have not I suppose the best time was reaching 50 lessons so when I was making my series of English lessons one of my most favorite lessons to make was when I went to Samuel Johnson's birthplace in Litchfield so I enjoyed doing that but of course I suppose my time in China when I first started making my videos in China was was quite good fun as well I enjoyed that possibly the worst memory is when I was attacked by a man <laughs> I was doing some filming for one of my lessons and this very aggressive man came up to me and started shouting and screaming at me he was asking why I was filming I wasn't filming anything that I shouldn't but he asked me and he became very angry and he started to kick my equipment which can be very painful so he he started to to smash my camera equipment and also my microphone he started to kick it and throw it around and then he threatened to hit me so that was probably the worst part of doing this over the past 13 years fortunately most of my experiences here on YouTube have been happy ones however sometimes I do put my life at risk to do this <laughs> so not everything has been plain sailing oh I like that word if something is plain sailing it means it is easy or very simple something that is achieved without much effort so doing this is not always easy there are moments when I have difficulty worry even the occasional tear so yes it does happen don't worry I am not going away this is just the final day of October however I will be back with live streams I am not leaving YouTube I have to say this again and again I'm not going away however today we are celebrating my 13th anniversary 13 years I've been doing this can you believe it I can't believe it between you and me the time has passed very quickly so today is Halloween I suppose it would be a good time to talk about some of my early lessons so we are going to take a look at an excerpt 
from one of my early English lessons that was recorded many years ago and this lesson is all about fear and being afraid fear is an emotional reaction to something we are afraid of we express fear in many ways for instance our heart might beat faster maybe we begin to bite our nails perhaps we shiver or maybe we close our eyes so we cannot see what is happening we can express fear by what we say and the way we say it for example I don't want to go in there it's too dark someone is following me maybe they will rob me I don't want to go to the dentist I'm too scared I have to see my boss today and I'm not looking forward to it did you know that you can be afraid of almost anything there is another word for fear we can say that we have a phobia if you have a phobia then this means that you will always be afraid of that particular thing there are many phobias around such as agoraphobia the fear of open spaces or going outdoors acrophobia the fear of being high up from the ground the dizzy feeling you get when you're high up is called vertigo algophobia a fear of pain arachnophobia to be afraid of spiders claustrophobia a fear of being in a small space for example trapped in a cupboard hydrophobia a fear of water pyrophobia a fear of fire or being burned ranidophobia a fear of frogs triskaidekaphobia the fear of number 13 for example sitting at a table with 13 people trypanophobia a fear of injections or needles xenophobia a fear of strangers foreigners or foreign cultures what are you afraid of what makes you scared boo if fear suddenly happens then we normally call this shock you did not expect that event to happen so you will be even more scared and anxious there are many sentences that can be used for showing the action of being shocked for example you frightened the life out of me I'm shaking like a jelly you put the willies up me I almost jumped out of my skin you nearly gave me a heart attack sometimes at night we have dreams that make us afraid we call these particular dreams nightmares or bad dreams in our mind the scary event seems real so our fear will feel just as real do you ever have nightmares did it get colder in here or is it just me <laughs> i think it might be you mr steve definitely you so i hope you enjoyed that a blast from the past as they say we went back in time 
with one of my very early lessons in fact that particular lesson was made in 2008 yes 11 years ago that particular lesson and yes I know people are going to say Mr Duncan you looked so young back then I think so it is now half past two and this is the final day of 31 days of learning English in October and I hope you are OK. I hope you are feeling good. Soon we will go. Soon it will be the end. The end is nigh, as they say. The end is coming, certainly for October anyway. So the, the end is approaching. Soon we will have to <laughs> bring the curtain down. So when you bring the curtain down, it means you bring something to an end or to a close. You bring the curtain down. You bring the curtain down on something. You end your performance. You end the thing you are doing. You bring the curtain down. Also, I suppose we can say conclude. So when you conclude something, it comes to an end. You end the thing. It comes to a natural ending. It will conclude the end of a story. It will conclude. So when you finish reading a story, the story will conclude. It has concluded. So there's a great word. Conclude. Finish come to the end it has been done you can say adieu <laughs> I like that you can say adieu and quite often people will say adieu as a humorous way of saying goodbye so you might say adieu adieu to you and you and you you can call it a day if you call it a day it means you decide to stop the thing you are doing you have decided to bring something to an end the thing is about to end you have decided to call it a day so this is a great expression it means that you finish the thing sometimes it can mean quit or end or maybe stop something voluntarily you call it a day maybe at the end of your working day you have decided that you don't want to do any more work maybe you are feeling tired you might say to your work colleague I think it's time to call it a day it's time to finish my work for today so lots of ways of using that we can also cut loose if you cut loose it means you leave you go maybe you walk out you stop seeing someone you cut them loose so if you end something finish something if you stop talking to someone or maybe if you break a relationship you will cut loose cut loose you will conclude conclude the end of a story is the conclusion so to conclude as I said earlier is to finish or end something comes to a natural ending it will conclude so today we will conclude our 31 days of learning English I suppose also you can say finish today we will finish our special live stream season so today we will finish our series of special live streams they will come to an end they will finish they will be no more so to finish is also to complete something so if you finish something you complete the thing you are doing so today we have come to the end we will finish our special season of live streams 
to celebrate my 13th year hello to palmyra hello to neo zero thank you for joining me today it is the last day of october my special series of live streams will end during this month however in november there will be more live streams the only difference is they won't be every day so that is the main difference i will give you some details later on about when our next live stream will be and also there will be some news in that live stream so the next time i'm on which i will tell you about later there will be some news about what is happening with my live streams there will be some good news and some bad news i think it's fair to say hello to anna hello to irene i think there are some moderators here did i see luis mendez earlier i think i saw luis mendez so luis is one of our moderators so yes he was here definitely let's go back in time to take a look at a video clip from one of my full English lessons this is something that I've been asked to show lots of people like this I don't know why maybe it's because of my superb acting I don't know so we will now take a look at another clip from one of my lessons and this is taken from full English number 22 Breakfast time, my favorite time of the day. Here we go again. Another breakfast with Mr. Slurpee. I really want to tell him how annoying his noisy eating is. And look at that porridge. That's not how you make porridge. What on earth is he wearing there? A Wolverine t-shirt, for goodness sake. Grow up, man. You are 50 years old. I really want to tell him how annoying he is. But it will only hurt his feelings. Look at him. Filling his smug face with milky porridge. And he never stops going on about English. Is there a problem? Mr. Duncan, for crying out loud, do you have to eat your porridge like that? It's so annoying. And that's not even how you make porridge. It's too weak. You always add too much milk. And what's with the t-shirt? It's a comic book character. You are not a child anymore. For goodness sake, grow up. You are 50 years old. Start acting like an adult. You are so immature and childish. It's not just one thing. It's everything about you. And another thing. You never stop talking about English. All day you go on and on about English this and English that. I really can't take it anymore. You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. I'm an easy target. Yeah, you're right. I talk too much. I also listen too much. I could be a cold-hearted cynic like you, but I don't like to hurt people's feelings. 
Well, you think what you like about me. I'm not changing. I like... I like me. My viewers like me. My students like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. Acting. Did you enjoy my Oscar winning acting there? I think that was pretty good. <laughs> so thank you for your requests to show that Mr. Lomax. A lot of people miss Mr. Lomax. He might be back one day. Who knows? Who knows what will happen in the future? Unfortunately, I cannot see the future. I am not a clairvoyant. And come to think of it, no one can see the future, to be honest. Hello, Palmira. Hello, Fernando. Fernando, nice to see you here. Hello also to Tomaz. Hello, Tomaz. Nice to see you here. Thanks for joining me today. It is the final day of 31 days of learning English. And of course, it is also my 13th anniversary on YouTube. <laughs> can't believe it you know what I, I really can't believe it I can't believe I've been doing this for 13 years it really does seem amazing I can't believe it I really can't I, I can still remember that day when I first created my YouTube channel I was still in China and it, it was something that I was doing just to pass the time so when I wasn't teaching I thought, well, maybe I can make some videos on YouTube. This brand new website where you can upload videos. It was all very exciting. However, did you know that my early lessons were very poor quality? Now, when I say poor quality, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about the image. So here is the actual size of the image when we first started uploading our videos to YouTube. And that's it. So there it is. That's the actual size and quality of the very early YouTube videos. And you can see me there talking. And that particular video was made in China when I was still living there. And that was one of my first videos that I made and uploaded to YouTube. But you can see how small the picture is and you can also see that the quality isn't very good. So technology has come a very long way in all those years. Now you can see me in super duper high definition quality. Not only that, but we can also do this live. So maybe one of the biggest changes to occur on YouTube besides the image quality is also the fact that we can do this live. Isn't it incredible? So I can stand here in my studio in England and also I can talk to you live on the Internet. Isn't it amazing? I think so. Berlin. Hello, Berlin. Congratulations for your 13 years on YouTube. Thank you very much. It is lovely to see you here. Yes, I've been here for 13 years doing all of this for free. I haven't charged anyone for anything. So everything I've done over 13 years is free, including this live stream. So everything that you see on my YouTube channel has been done for free. But you are welcome to make a donation if you would like to. You don't have to. I know some people don't want to or don't like to or they can't afford it. That's OK. It's all right. 
I'm not begging although some people might think that however I would love my work to continue forever and ever and ever so please if you'd like to make a donation to PayPal or right here today on the super chat it's up to you hello mr duncan i am dilshad i am with you from kurdistan welcome dilshad and it's very nice to see you here today so we are talking about this one of the subjects we are talking about is ending and also halloween now i thought it would be interesting to go back in time two years ago to one of the live streams that I did with Mr. Steve sadly unfortunately Mr. Steve can't be here today I know it's a shame unfortunately Mr. Steve can't be here today however what we are going to do is go back in time and show you Mr. Steve and also myself explaining what Halloween is all about what is it all about <laughs> so there you can see our costumes and here is the video Halloween is all about being scary it's about the afterlife <laughs> is, is it not Mr Duncan <laughs> is, is Halloween about the afterlife well I, I, I it's it's sort of got its sort of roots in I, that i thought it was all about kids just being very annoying knocking on your door mm. and and trying to bribe you mm. out of giving them giving giving sweets to them yes you know. but the the whole tradition of it goes back <laughs> hundreds of years uh to the middle there. is it time do we want to talk about the history of halloween now is we it might as well oh right well we're here aren't we we're here we're here we might as well do it we're dressed up <laughs> we've gone to a lot of effort and mr duncan wasn't lying when he said it's taken him three days to put all this together it has he's been working very hard to make this look scary for halloween of course not everybody celebrates halloween it's more of a sort of a western sort of tradition america england but of course more countries in the world are doing it now um, and from what I understand, Mr. Duncan, I'm sure you've got a lot more knowledge about this than me, that the history dates back hundreds and hundreds of years, back to the dark Middle Ages uh, in the UK. And it's all about it's all about uh, what this fascination that we all have, human beings have of, of what happens after we die. Mm. Yes. Is there an afterlife? And if so, what goes on there? And Halloween is really about sort of saying prayers for the dead. I think that's where it originally comes from. That is, it's, it was actually a, a pagan ritual. So this predates things like Christianity being introduced to this country. So it goes back many, yes, you're right, hundreds of years. Mm. And over the years, Halloween has become something different. So it, originally it was called All Hallows Eve, uh -huh. which... which which was the period of time leading up to all of the spirits and the ghosts walking around. <laughs> I, I still can't believe we did that. Did we really do that? <laughs> I can't believe that we actually did that. I was so involved watching that I actually forgot I, I became very engaged by that video I actually forgot I was doing a live stream oh hello there 10 minutes away from three o'clock and we are live for the final day it's the final day of 31 days don't worry though there will be more live streams and I will tell you now when the live stream will be next on YouTube it will be wow this is exciting isn't it <laughs> the next live stream will be sunday the 3rd of november so the next live stream here on youtube will be sunday the 3rd of november 2 p.m uk time 
so that should be easy to remember so the next time I am with you on YouTube live will be on Sunday the 3rd of November so I hope you will join me then and I will be back on Sunday with lots of interesting information and also I will be telling you what I am going to do with my live streams so I hope you can join me on Sunday lots of things to reveal on that day during the live stream Alan Gia says it is going too quickly oh I'm sorry about that I can't do anything about time sometimes I wish I could stop time or maybe slow it down so it's not going so quickly or I wish I could turn back time as it is turn back time I do it all for free you are right I don't charge anything for doing this and that is the way it's been for the past 13 years when I first started doing this I want to show you something else if I can find it I have a lot of stuff to show you today so many things to let you see do we have something else yes we do the final day of October way back in 2013 I'm going to end with that in a few moments not just yet don't worry because I still have some more words to show you so when something comes to an end when something finishes we can call it the conclusion so conclusion describes the action it says that something has ended there has been a conclusion so the conclusion is the ending and today there will be a conclusion to my 31 days of teaching English in October the conclusion is coming soon <laughs> also we might say the ending so this also describes something as it finishes or as it becomes completed as it has been complete it is the ending so maybe the ending of a film or maybe the ending of a book maybe the ending of a song so maybe a part that appears at the very end of something so the ending is coming soon soon we will go I suppose you might also use this word as well the finale I like this word now this isn't an English word finale actually comes from Italian the Italian language so the finale finale is the ending the last show the final performance is the finale the finale quite often we will use this word also to mean the last act so before you end you have the last act and that is often described as the finale the ending you can cross the finish line so if you cross the finish line it means you have reached completion you have completed the thing that you are doing you have reached the finish line so maybe in a race if you are running in a race you will cross the finish line also we can use this as a phrase to describe completing something coming to the end of something you cross the finish line you have completed the thing you are doing we are coming towards the end of the road <laughs> so you can say end of the road to mean the conclusion something is finishing we have reached the end of the road we have come to the end so the end of the road is a great expression it means you have 
finished the thing you are doing you have reached the end you are coming to the end of the thing you are doing you have reached the end of the road so you might be heading towards the end of the road or you may have reached the end of the road very soon my special season of live streams will reach the end of the world <laughs> of the world of the road not the world it's not the end of the world yet you'll be pleased to hear we are approaching the end of the line quite often if you travel by railway you will find that the final destination is often described as the end of the line so when you reach the final destination during a train journey they will often say this is the end of the line you have reached the end of the railway track and of course the end when you reach the end there is nowhere else to go you can't go any further than the end that is it you can leave by yourself you can walk off so if you walk off it means you leave you go away you quit something whilst doing it so maybe you walk off the field or maybe you walk off the stage or you might just be feeling a little unwell and you go out for a walk we can say that you walk off your illness or you walk off your tiredness so there are many ways of using this particular phrase you will depart leave go away you depart so when you say goodbye when you leave maybe you are at the railway station saying goodbye to your friends and they are on the train they are going away they will depart they are departing they are going away this word can also mean die as well so if you die you depart <laughs> you leave this mortal coil you exit this veil of tears leave I think we all know what this means recently people have been using this word to talk about a certain subject here in the UK so if you leave it means you go away you you walk out you depart you leave soon I must leave unfortunately it's not very nice is it I feel a little emotional I don't know about you but I feel a little emotional finishing this last day of October because it's been a great month I've really enjoyed it Saturino in the first YouTube the frame was much smaller because the resolution of the image was very low in fact I think in the early days I think it was about I want to say 240 P so that was the resolution of the actual image which is very small when you compare it to this beautiful high definition this wonderful clear picture the very early picture on YouTube was not very clear and also not very large so because it wasn't very large it always looked like the quality was poor unfortunately I will be going soon oh it's so sad I don't want to go can I just stay here all the time can I just stay here live forever wouldn't that be nice before I go don't forget you can donate you can leave a donation if you want and that will then allow me to do this more often I will be back with you on Sunday by the way with all the details of what is happening next and there will be a lot of things happening some changes 
some good changes and maybe some not so good changes however there will be changes taking place during november i hope you've enjoyed today thank you irene thank you to satarino thank you rosa apparently the second of november is a holiday and we usually go to cemeteries oh cemeteries do you mean cemeteries where dead people lie sleeping under the ground i think so hello sarah so i think that's 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 very suitable for halloween don't you think hmm. they have a similar thing in china in china they have a special ceremony called tomb sweeping where they go to the the tombs or the graves of their relatives and they will clean the the tomb they will polish everything to make it look nice so yes that i think that happens everywhere in fact there are many places that do that thank you christelle thank you alan gear thank you also to neo zero mr duncan your persistence is admirable thank you everyone and mr duncan thank you too i've really enjoyed today i've enjoyed the past 31 days it's been wonderful thank you very much for your company i've enjoyed it so much however all good things must come to an end i will be back with you on sunday the 3rd of november 2 p.m uk time so there is no confusion i will be with you next sunday the 3rd of november 2 p.m uk time thank you linny thank you also natalus thank you luis mendez thank you also to anna rita thank you very much to ian beatriz i'm trying to say hello to as many people as possible rosa thank you very much again valentin also patrick thank you very much patrick thank you alex thank you for your lovely donation yesterday thank you rosa thank you to loretta for your donation thank you caesar i'm trying to name as many people as possible before i go thank you to dishad thank you also to lisa lisa says mr duncan my adorable teacher congratulations for your 13 years and sharing your knowledge and love of english i love english a lot in fact you might say that i'm a bit of an english addict what about you are you an english addict christina thank you very much you are very kind all of you thank you very much for being with me today i will leave you with something that i did on this date in 2013 so something that is a little bit funny something that isn't sad something that will make you smile maybe on this day in 2013 and of course 13 years ago i created my first ever youtube video i can't believe it i really can't i don't want to leave you to be honest i love doing this you might say that i feel alive when i do this because i know that you are there watching me teaching you this is mr duncan saying thanks a lot for your company thank you very much for joining me and i will see you on sunday 2 p.m uk time and of course for the final time in october 2019 you know what's coming next yes you do to ta for now mm. so this is it we all knew this day would come. It was inevitable, expected, preordained, destined. It was on the cards. It was as certain as the sunrise. It was odds on, a firm bet, a likely event. Nothing could stop it. Yes, it's the final day of Dunktober. 
tomorrow will be the first day of no Dunkvember. Is this the end of Mr. Duncan? Am I about to disappear forever? Do cats really fall on all fours? Find out the answer to these questions and much more on today's last ever Dunktober Day. I have a good idea. Let's have a word of the day. Yes, I thought it would be fun to have a word of the day. This is not only a word for you to learn, but also to use. Try to use it today as often as you can. Today's word is decline. The word decline has more than one meaning. It can mean a slow fall or drop in something. If the number of people doing something has dropped, then we can say that there has been a decline. The word decline also means to refuse something, to say no to an offer from someone. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to decline your offer. I'm afraid he declined my offer. Decline can also mean to refuse to do something. The president declined to comment on the war. See how many times you can use decline today. Is English a perfect language? This is a question I'm often asked. Why is English so popular? I suppose you could ask that question about many things. From my own viewpoint, I think English acts as a middle ground. It has become a common form of language. It is by nature a language created from the very best of many other languages. It is a means to share and most importantly, it is a way of joining people together. English is a common language that is, like us, always evolving. To answer the question, no, English is not a perfect language. It has its flaws and idiosyncrasies. But from my standpoint at least, it serves as a means to an end. People sharing their thoughts and experiences. And the result of this? Perhaps a little more understanding, a bit more tolerance. And hey, who knows, perhaps even a little peace. That would be just dandy. Well, what can I say? This month has been quite an adventure. 31 days of English lessons and hopefully a few smiles as well. I wish you luck with your studies wherever you are in the world. Stay happy and enjoy English. This is Mr. Duncan in England on the very last day of Dunktober. 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 Good morning, Mr. Duncan. <gasps> Mr. Lomax, what are you doing in my bedroom? Nobody's allowed in my bedroom except me. Come on, Mr. Duncan. It's time to get up. It's day one of Dunktober. What are you talking about? Dunktober is finished. I'm doing the last one today. Oh, Mr. Duncan, I think you've been dreaming again. What? Are you saying that the 31 days of Dunktober were all just a dream? Yes, Mr. Duncan, that is what I'm saying. You have been dreaming. Really? Is that what we're doing? We're really doing the dream plot? Oh, dear. OK, I'll play along. Oh. What? It was all a dream and it didn't really happen? Oh, my goodness. That means I have to film Dunktober all over again. Yes, Mr. Duncan. It was all a dream. All a dream. All a dream.